Well, Alex, there was a point in the second half when Gabby Agbonda Hall was clean through, one on one, couldn't beat Czech. Did you think we've blown our chance here of winning a game? Um, yeah, I, I, you, you tend to think that way. You say, oh, well, you don't get many chances against a, a team of Chelsea's quality. But we persevered, and that was the great thing about our team performance today. The players never gave up trying to create openings and get forward when the time was right. Chelsea did pin us back a bit in the second half. Frank Lampard came on and was a big influence in driving Chelsea forward. But we stood firm and we, we had some brilliant play on the break. And it was about composure and speed and uh, incisive passing. Uh, and, you know, in the first half, I thought at times we gave the ball away too cheaply and it allowed... Chelsea to go forward, get the penalty, get the, the the first goal. But second half, I thought we were, you know, nearly nearly perfect in terms of with the ball. We we never gave it away as much as we did in the first. Not many teams go behind here and come back to win. It was so crucial to equalise quickly, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Uh, it was great to get back in level terms, um, and we, you know, we were really pleased and delighted. I think all Villa fans will be delighted with Ireland's performance because his running off the ball was great, his touch was great, his interception for the third goal was, was fantastic. He's really good at that, you know, and he's, he's not so much a, a big heavy tackler, but he does read the game very well. And when he's in that kind of frame of mind, I and mean, that's, that's Man City for him of two seasons ago, uh, and we need that from Stevie, because, you know, he's, he's came to Villa as a big player, not really justified himself as yet but today goes a long way towards that. It was a big call, though, wasn't it? Because everyone was expecting Darren Bent to come in for Emil Heskey, but instead it was Ireland just behind, and he was fantastic. Yeah, it, it, we, we felt that it was a big ask for, for Darren, who pulled out a training only last Monday. He hasn't trained for a couple of weeks. We've got a really important game on Monday. We're, we're trying, obviously not, we can't rest everybody. We can't rotate the squad uh, or the team as we would like to. Uh, and have the power of the you know the bigger teams, but we felt that uh, you know it would be a big ask on Benny to go in for the, for the two games, keep him really sharp, and he has looked sharp. And when he came on, I thought he looked he looked absolutely excellent on in his England form. He was great. The Villa fans were phenomenal today. Absolutely loved it. And did you sense there was a real chance to reward them here today in that second half? Yeah, at half time, I, I, you know, I looked at the faces of the players. I said, "You've got, you must believe in this." And it's easy to say it, and it's easy just to say, "Okay, I'll believe in it and I'll go out and do it." But I, I saw a, a, a steeliness about the players. They carried off every tactical, uh, defensive um, instruction we gave them, absolutely to 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 a T. Um, and then you hope that your the players who can make the difference will win the game for you. And I thought that all the, the forwards were, were great today. Gabby led the line superbly. Unlucky not to get a goal, great save. And Charles was running at people the way we know that Zogbert can do. He was electric, did well for the first goal. And, and Mark Albrighton, again, worked his socks off. And these guys are doing a job for us, going the other way as well, which uh, all wingers must do nowadays. Because after all, if full-backs can go up and down the pitch, then the wingers must be trained and fit enough to do that as well. And just quickly on the next game, home match against um, Swansea, who've done brilliantly, haven't they, since coming up in the summer? Yeah, the, the Brendan, a great friend of mine, and he's he's uh, coached the players to, to, to be a great football team. He, he did inherit a lot of very good footballers. He's added his own blend of footballer, and that, that's the way his team have, have captivated the Premier League. But, you know, we, we want to try and uh, build on this fantastic result today and not let our fans down at home. Uh, we, we go all out for a victory on Monday.